Hi, this is Kathy with You Compose. Thank you for joining me on my video the, today. Um, if you looked at uh, video 32, the one previous before this one, uh, I demonstrated how to set up this page. Be sure that you do that because you need an F sharp up in the key, uh, key signature here and um, three, four time, which is different from our last song. And I show you how to do that. So be sure and go back to video 32 if you haven't done it already. I do have a little tune in my head uh, to start with. And also again, I'm going to be writing to put words to it. So it's a little different that way, uh, different style to do it that way than my a lot of my songs on my other playlist, uh, Three Minute Piano Lessons. If you go over there, you can check that out as well. So today, we're going to start right off with, uh, I've got my hot pin going, uh, eighth notes, because we have three beats to the measure. And remember, we're in G position. So we're working uh, up here with this G, and I'm going to be working in the one chord of G. And so uh, the one chord of G simply would be G, B, and D. So, and I'll refer you to a few other videos to help you learn the G uh, position more quickly. So we've got the eighth notes highlighted there. So let's start with our little tune. Oops, I'm, that is a wrong B. So even though it's a B, I wasn't, uh, didn't get... Uh, so that played, I have to scroll the keyboard down because there's your middle C. So I want the higher B here. I'm working in this G position. So let's make sure we get started right, okay? So two eighth notes equal one beat, right? So there's one beat. And then I need another eighth note to make two beats. So the count would be one and two and. And I'm going to come on down again. So I have three whole beats here because the eighth note gets half of a beat. So one and two and three and. So writing in the eighth notes and you can see that I am in G position and that would be the one chord. I have two G's up there and I have three, or I mean two B's, which both make up part of that one chord. Now I have A as the passing tone in that chord. And we've talked about that previously. For the bass, I'm going to uh, scroll on down to the low G position. That is what we're in. And I'm going to put in dotted half notes because a dotted half note would get three beats. And I'm gonna build them up onto a one chord in low G position. So there you have a full um, G chord. That would be a one chord in the low G position. The notes there are G, B, and D. That is your base C right there, middle C, just to acclimate you to this keyboard. So that would be the beginning of my song. Now listen, I would like you to go on over to my playlist, Three Minute Piano Lessons, video number 27, and really get uh, acclimated to that low G position. I cover it very well. In fact, there's a printout with that video of a song that I wrote. You might like that and learn to play it as well if you have a piano. Also, in this You Compose playlist that you're in right now, video 13, uh, I actually introduced the low G position using a felt pen and a board. So be sure and check those out. Thank you for joining me today and be sure and come back. 